Hello Void, I'm Agitated Crane and we are jumping right back into the Baldur's Gate 3. I had to turn on my fan in the room. I do have some noise cancelling software installed, so hopefully it's not going to be too annoying. Hopefully you will not hear it at all. But if you do, the fuck, I guess. Okay, let's go scavenge on the ghost. One gold piece, perfect. And this is our friend. For discussion. Oh, it has spikes. It has spikes, and uh, if you remember when we were reading her, like bio or introduction on um, on the character select screen uh, there was something about pain and st sh shit like that so this may be her like holy symbol and because her god is in, into pain and stuff it has spikes when she rubs it sensually it, she gets st stabbed basically let's try to wake her You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? Um, well, the, the larva, right? But whatever. True. Doesn't matter. Seems like we're the lucky ones, judging by all the corpses strewn about. I remember the ship. I remember falling, then nothing. I wonder how would it would play out if I was playing as one of the story characters. Because I feel like we wouldn't get this scene, right? And then also I wonder if they have fully voice acted lines, because that would have been cool. Honestly, this game is huge enough. I I was hoping that even this, like my guy, would have voice acting, but he has only like error voice lines, you know. Um, have you seen our Gitianki? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Um. Yeah, we should look You're for her. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Wait, she's not healer? She is cleric, so she... She is damage cleric? Do you have any idea no. where we are? I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Mm okay, so she will remember that. I do. I did want it to mention that during character creation, we picked like a bodyguard or something. And so far, this guy has not been introduced. I was expecting that he is going to be part of the party during the tutorial. Okay, can we swim? Water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. We can. Okay. Um, yeah. So I was Something thinking he is going to be like play. part of the party during the tutorial, and then he will likely die. And yeah, this uh, this thing has 
light up everything but then just like Dragon Age had. So we have a problem. No one stopped me yet. Stylish hat? Oh this is this is way too stylish. Some empty pouches. Mergrass, I take it it's some crafting region. Suspension of Mergrass. Eh? Something the matter. No, I wanted What's the story with that totally there? There's no have? story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Okay. Um, we should get to know each Must other. We? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Yeah, we work together. Easy is often less interesting. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. It is strange that she she has this this. Um, I don't want to talk to you. Say for a moment that I was. But I'm going to work with you. Do you think your blunt approach would get me to confess? Shame you feel that way. Just don't expect me to entertain your questions if you won't respect my privacy. Privacy. Fuck off. Um. Okay. Mm. Oh. Is this our friend? Or someone else's friend? Okay, so we have some backpack. Apparently bucket of fish is not important enough to highlight. I do want to have all of this fish. And then we have some shanties. Okay. Books can be read and not see have picked up in your inventory. Okay. Oh, by the way, I just noticed a nice detail. Do you see it on the map? It has squares just like the bat battle plan on the tabletop. That's nice. Okay, look. I'm already devolving into collect all the sh shit. Hmm. Belladonna? Ah, it's another flower. Okay, never mind. And supposedly we have some... Okay. You can craft your own potion, poisons, and elixir using alchemy. Gather ingredients to distill into extracts and experiment to brew wondrous solutions. Okay. And we have suspensions. Okay, suspensions. I don't know. Touching a little of the substance to your lips, you begin to hear muffled pulses of sound. Doubts of toads belonging to those nearby. Interesting. Um, any suspension? Okay. So... We have camp spice, so three mer grasses gives us one suspension and the, and the sus, suspension. 
I hate crafting, especially when it, when they have really dumb AI. Well, not AI. Uh, user interface, UI. Marble Adonna. What is this? This is the map of your surroundings. You can view quest location and place custom markers. You can also teleport to a waypoints you have discovered by selecting them. So this is waypoint. I take it. And there is some ancient door there. And there is dagger root. Um More of those wretched things. So we can go back to the ship, looks like. This crash, and I guess... Oh. There is battle happening. Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. Um... Okay. Now, I should go behind him and attack. Nice. I did not expect this, to be honest. I don't want to go through the fire. Need to find a way forward. Eh. Nice. isn't such a distant prospect. Short rest. Take a short rest to recover half your hit points and some other resources. Eh? Um. Camp and resting menu. Short rest. Okay. Twice a day you can restore 50% of your hit points. Warlocks restore their spell slots. Long rest, I can use camp supplies to gain hit points, spell slots, and short rests, okay, and go to camp. Okay. Um, One day I'll catch a break. Let's keep exploring this this thing and what what is that? That is a trap. Anything of use. A rapier, silver locket, horse reddish. Nice. Fuck. Pick it up. Now. I want to know what this is. <clears throat> oh. I think it means that this is... This is just to be sold. Because it has like the... I think it has like the gold symbol. Anyway, Rapier is significantly better. And I think it looks better as well. It matches our stylish hat. Uh, right, and I wanted to level up. Mm. 
noise. So we get health increase. Um, we had this before as well. So. Um, Multi-classing. This advanced feature allows you to build powerful combination of classes at the expense of higher level class features. You can level, level up one class at a time. Okay. Uh, cancel. I don't, I don't need that. Uh, so that's, uh, for example, if you wanted to make like a spell mage, you can um, put fighter and wizard into one. Uh, you can level fighter and, and wizard, and then basically more options would be available to you so I just get health increase and that's all right a long way to go still and same with her I'm not sure if this is. This was added or she already had it. I think she already had it as well. You gain the ability to channel divine energy starting with two effects turn undead and an effect determined by your domain. Replenish by a short or long rest. Turn undead. Invoke duplicity. Distract your enemies with an illusion. Oh! With a... Within a 3 meter of the illusion. Attack rolls have advantage for you and your allies. Okay, so this is uh, invoke duplicity is cha channel divinity. Okay, and then spells she has inflict wounds, guiding bolt, healing ward, shield of faith, cure wounds, and she could have protection from evil, sanctuary. Bane, Command, and Bless, and Creator Destroy Water. Right, so I'm going to be honest with you. Whenever I play these classes in like real tabletop, I really dislike using spells because it's like the classes that I played usually had like a limit of how many spells they can use and in uh, in place of low level spells it's usually not worth taking damage spells because, well, for me at least, because it's uh, it's more fun to have utility spells. And then on higher levels, higher level spells, you can cast like maybe two or three and then you are done. So that's why I really dislike casters. With clerics, I, well... We will see. So far I'm, I'm really worried about the combat because um, I've got a long road ahead. Well, I don't I don't even know how, how to describe that it, but uh, I basically please. So far it was um, it was paced very poorly. I think later, one, once uh, we get more skills, more people in the party, once uh, there are more enemies, more interesting abilities and stuff like that, it would be better, but right now it sort of like interrupts the story and I'm not feeling it. So we have the skull and caustic boob. We can throw it at people.
moving ahead. I'm trying to navigate the map. As, as I said, I don't want to explore everything, but at the same time, like, it's it's one of the Let's one of one of the appeals of this game to explore and find shit. Thieves tools. Oh, thank you. And the drum, wooden trunk that is locked. We could lock pick it. Let's try out. it actually. So five. Oh my god, that this should be easy. Noise. We get a leather helmet. Nice. And so, our stylish hat served us well, but this is giving us dexterity saving throws. It is light armor though, and I should be able to wear medium, right? Oh, I can't wear. I cannot wear medium armor. Okay, so this hat is actually perfect for us. Nice. Look at it. So nice. Don't mind if I do. Another belladonna. Some more mergrass. Nothing of import there, so we can continue moving up. I, I would also like to figure out if I could move... No. If I could play in like, for uh, not first person, the, the third person, but like with... Um, from the behind the shoulder camera. Because I think it would be more enjoyable for me than this top-down. And also this top-down top uh, view seduces me to look for more stuff everywhere. Just run through everything. Oh, look. Astarion, another Sounds member like of our party. To talk. Hurry, I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? It could be my friend. There. Can you see it? Ah, we have failed perception. Not a sound. Not if you want to keep that darling neck of yours. I kind of expected you. this, but... Keep your distance. Okay. No need for this to get messy. I need him alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. Ah, promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. Um. Yeah, let's try it. Ooh, 14. That's quite high. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Ooh, that's not good. Oh. I'm gonna get stabbed. You wriggling little. Ah! Your 
mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. <laughs> this guy has it. Has What's going on? Strength is not going to work. I could try to communicate, but let's uh, get out of this situation first. Okay, surely this is going to work. Nice. I saw into your mind. They took you. Just the same as me. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Okay. Pleasure accepted. Well, when the, the, this is, uh, I'm a little bit upset that they basically showed me main characters, I guess, that you can have in your party during the character selection screen. Because now I'm a little bit influenced to be nicer to him, to make sure that he really joins. Okay, glad to see we're all cut up. You'd better have more to offer than apologies. Yeah, offer I'm something more. Wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. Yeah. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Oh. I'm Baldurian? I don't remember selecting it, but yeah, I guess. Okay. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. Well, yeah, I'm soldier. So, do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... Do you guys it see hasn't the bite marks? Yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Uh, so I commented on the bite marks. I noticed it uh, earlier when we were fighting him and stuff. But um, yeah, in his background uh, info, it was uh, something that something about him serving vampires. So he probably it's probably funny for him that he was serving the vampires and was presumably eventually going to be turned into vampire. And now he's going to be turned into Mindfire. <laughs> so he ran out from one monster and now he can... He's dealing with another. He wants to control it? Yeah, I didn't even catch it when he, when he said it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first... Okay. You know, Let's I come was with ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Okay. So we got Gavel ourselves another character, and I believe he is also a rogue. Oh. So hold on. This is... Uh, I had it as well, but th this is different from... Uh, uh, from regular height and regular dash and regular disengage. This is like ca cannon action, so it's... Uh, easier performed, I guess. Okay. By rope. Can't afford to stay idle. Um it 
Okay, I healed myself, Never a dull so there we go. Uh, the boar... It is scared. Best be oh fuck, if, if I was a druid I could have talked with it. What's up for discussion? Sure, let's try animal handling. I don't think I have it. And it's going to... Well, then... Should be easy. Nice. Come snip my hands. The boar grunts and eyes you warily with its beady eyes. Why would I want it closer? Let's say don't don't. By by the way, what what's the difference between the shrifts? I guess this is talk. This is action. Let's lure it closer. The boar shuffles its trotters, unsure. Then it dashes away into the wilderness. Eh, well. As I said, we are not a druid, so. This was to be expected. Let's go back in here. Or in there. I don't remember where I was going. Looks like it doesn't matter. No time to rest. What's inside? Spike the bulb. Void bulb. A lot of troubles these uh, mind flares have. I'm actually surprised. Perhaps mm. there may be even more that survived the crash. The fuck? Okay. Oh my god. There. A mind flayer. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. Okay. Let's talk with it. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel... Compassion. Daddy? Compassion. Um. Let's step you away from move. this. Can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Let's try to check on it a little bit. Then that's easy. Come on. Oh my god. Okay. You try to break through, but its mind is impenetrable. With a last surge of defiance, it slaps your efforts away. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Let's leave it to die. So this was. I'm ready. Can I actually try with uh, with a different character to get Worst into into its head? Monster's tentacles twitch weakly. It won't last much longer. 
Okay. Now I'm back home. So I guess we, we are done with that guy. At the ready. It sucks that we failed that check. It was like easy check and I we could have gotten some interesting info out of it. Uh, right, and this is where the boar was. There is a dead goblin. Dead goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Goblin bow, supply pack. What to do? Um. Fuck is this goblin scimitar? Okay. Not proficient. Bone and axe. Okay. I don't want to walk through the fire, so let's let's go check what this fucking similarity is. What's going on with that room? Looks unstable somehow. We'll approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Let's not do anything with it, if it looks dangerous. Maybe I need more pockets. Okay. I go all the way down there. Jesus, okay. Uh, let's explore a little bit and then we will see. Maybe I will be able to teleport back there. You think it's dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. What? Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad. Twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Um... This is weird. Why would I persuade them to kill and kill her? Fuck it. She's dangerous. Get out of here. Then... We can do it! Nice. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Where is this camp? Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Yeah, say please. Never. What the fuck is this? Never? Jesus. Okay. Um... Observe and listen. You'll hear Get goblins before you see them. As you say. 
Got some mushrooms and short bow. And how the fuck do I take her down? Examine. Well, that's not helpful. Can I just... The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. I'm trying not to play that kind. And also, uh, crash, I believe it's like the uh, git camp in the real world. Well, real. Um, because they usually live in... Uh, in some other plane, right? And then Crash is like their, their camp in uh, material plane. Uh, or I guess let, let her explain it. She probably knows it better than I do. It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. Uh, to explain Crash a little bit more, uh, when they are in a different plane, they don't age. But they do age in, uh, in the real world. So, as she mentioned, that it's, it's a hatchery, training ground. So basically, when they decide to, to have babes, they go to the material plane, they have babes, they have, uh, they train, they grow, and once they, they are adults, they hide and stop aging. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. Eh, all right. Uh, the thing with Githyanki is they are very proud and very stubborn, if I'm not mistaken. So to get them to, like, cooperate or, like, not, not see you as insect is not is not going to work. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. I really like the detail on her Indolence as well. Madness. The game really looks beautiful. It's, uh, it's been a while since I've seen something like this, because usually... Action search... Okay, no, actually, okay. As usually when I... Well, not usually. Lately, when I have been playing games, I have been playing mostly... Um, well, I haven't been playing actually, but uh, when uh, I had like, when I was in the mood to play something and I would try to install something and play like maybe an hour and then give up on it, it was usually like MMOs, so you, you have like Warcraft that I hate, so I hate play it, and then stuff like Again, Dungeons and Dragons, only not Baldur's Gate, but Neverwinter, <laughs> the uh, the online one, or even like Dungeons and Dragons, like regular online from um, what is it called, Turbine Studios, and that's way older. So it's like it's really it's really interesting to see like very detailed 
character models. Even hair, like I usually hate hair in games due to this shit. You see how it's glued there? But in general it looks kind of fine. But if she was not an asshole, she is actually very cute. Alright. Proceeding. No, switch to my main ends. character. Oh, not as bad as it could have. Okay, so we can go in here and do some stuff. Or we can go here. Uh, they say that the camp had... where do I have? Come on. What? Rouge. Okay, so that's just filter of all of this. Uh, where do I have... The combat log. Uh, no. Inventory and equipment, spellbook, alchemy, skills that I need to you. Center camera on character, pink map, journal. There we go. And so we have find cure. Okay. Continue traveling with Shadowheart. Find Zoru, okay. Continue traveling with uh, Asterion. And then these are completed. So finding Zoru is like part of the Katyanki Warrior side quest, or I guess companion quest. And. Find healer Netty, this camp nearby where someone is But, show on map. Oh my god! Well, it's not that, that far, I guess. It's more or less there, I guess, right? Can we. Okay, we can actually teleport all the way there. That's great. Which means that we can try to open the sanctioned door. Can't get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. Hmm, maybe. I maybe I can look pick it. Ooh. Twenty. Can I? I can add guidance from Shadow Shadowheart, and that's that's it. So I need to roll at the very least fourteen, and then I get six bonus. Fourteen should be manageable, right? Surely. Okay, let's try. It. Fuck. This is gonna break my tools probably as well, right? Yeah. Try again. There we go. Okay, so is this like a... This is a crypt, so I'm hoping this is not like a dungeon What out We don't have trap disarm tools How delicious. Okay, that's uh... Over here. At least things have stayed interesting Hmm 
Nice. Nothing there. This place wasn't built for the living. Can't slow down. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Alright, there is a lot of traps actually. And on Sarfagus as well. Jesus, so 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 many traps. Can this button disable it? So many traps here. And perception fail, rubber ink, skull bomb. Sure, take it all. Jug. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Damaged vaza. Trap. Be cautious. You know. If I had trap disarming tools, I feel like I feel like trap. I could have collected a Be bunch cautious. of like trap. Uh, what do you call it? Parts in here. Coin. Strange, incomprehensible whispers emanate from this coin, pervading your mind with rage and despair. These coins can power infernal engines. No clue what this is. We have new rapier, ring, mail, armor. Okay, that's nice. Bones, gold. A strange coin. So. I wonder what it's worth. You are um, you can go with medium armor Still and breathing. this is despite everything. This is heavy armor. But you You can go with heavy armor. So I'm gonna give rain card to her. And so, fuck. <laughs> Her armor is way better. But I want to check how it looks. Eh. Her armor is better, but this this one looks nice as well. What? Hold on, there is underwear involved. Yeah, there is some BDSM type. Underwear. And hold on. Alright. There is apparently nudity in here. <laughs> hey. This is... This is seriously like the first game that... Uh, that actually like has... Character models. Naked. That I played. That is like... Mainstream game and not like a porn game. Repositioning. Have a lot on my mind. Well, in it. Flame. Studded shield. Nice, nice, nice. Moving in. Here we 
Ok. The, it's like, honestly, like, very weird. So then... Uh, I'm, I'm still talking about the nudity. I guess we are in a dungeon? Yeah, I guess this is dungeon. Uh, so... The nudity is a little bit weird because it's like... These are mainstream game and yet they have like the this option for characters to run completely naked. I honestly thought that it's going to be like just for uh, like sexy times that it's going to show a little bit more. But now I'm a little bit worried that it's actually like <laughs> full blown porn scenes in here. I was checking if this was like an, an exit or another section of this dungeon. No handle. How does it open? So impossible to unlock, examine. Nothing. I'm guessing like oh, look, candle. Look, another candle. Okay, that's not suspicious at all. Oh! Who the fuck is this? Mari. Well, Mari, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, she's getting reinforcements, great. Can't reach destination because Cooper Nothing is in the way. So switch to normal weapon Cut and into the charge her. And miss, apparently. Okay. My faith will protect me. They let me strike too. Why is it 55%? percent chance to actually do anything. I will ascend. It's fucking weird. This is your end. Okay, that worked. Impressive. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck do I do? If a member of your adventure and party reaches their hit points, they are down. This is a state between life and death where they roll each turn to survive. On three successful rolls, they become stable. On three failures, they die. Okay. So. Holy shit. No. Not dagger. Cancel this. Just shot them. Okay. I won't give in. Would this stabilize her? Help up. So supposedly she would get on one HP, right? Yep. Great. And now I cannot attack. 
but I can move up to him and I can try to show the motherfucker. Nice. Stay focused. Okay, now healing. Um Sure, heal yourself. And... That's it for now. Miss, nice. Not fall before my time. Arm strength, rush attack. Let's do this. Now he's a balance that I can pummel strike him as well. So hopefully there is a lot of stuff going on now. And I can I can actually Oh is this Uh when I was playing Pathfinder there was like this uh, move attack or something like that. You actually had to pick it when leveling up, but with that you could uh, move, attack, and then move move again. And this may be one, one of the things, so I will actually pull her back a little bit, because she is on 2 HP. Oh fuck, it's Barbarian. Great. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Let's try to take out this mate. Hopefully. And... Yeah, let's stay like that. Let's heal our warrior. Let's do conclusive smash on this barbarian. Miss it completely. Let's move back because fuck that shit. I don't want to be involved in that battle. On. Can't stay idle. Now, piercing strike on the, well, actually, regular attack on the Mage, so at least we don't get another fireball and, or anything like that. And then we could... Jump away? I don't know. No, I, I don't think... Maybe disengage? Yeah, let's disengage. And let's um, move out of the break. way because I don't want to get uh, hit with arrows. Let's end the turn so they have to move. In short, okay. Arm strain, trenched, main hand. Sure. Let's do hamstring so he doesn't move that much. Oh, she uses she uses bow for that. Okay. Extraction. Switch to the sword. No extraction. Switch to the sword. And go hit him. I should have maybe used the um, fucking... I should have used uh, arrows probably. I shouldn't be getting close to all of this.
piercing strike. Excellent. Sure. And turn. Okay, barbarian is down, so now it shouldn't be Still breathing. an Despite issue. Everything. Ranged. Okay. Let my name be known. The second wind as well. Oh, nice, guys! You are fun. Like that, there is, there is nothing, absolutely nothing you can do. You guys are just dead, just, just done. Like there is, there is nothing to discuss. I don't think I have advantage on this guy. Can't even see him properly. Okay, but I can do piercing strike. Piercing shot. Okay. Why is Pat interrupted? Uh, navigating this is like not great. Okay, now I can see it. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Oh my god. I'm almost dead. But I have. I have defeated my enemies. They all had named. Uh, they all had names. So this is White Sus. Also, they have a bunch of cool stuff. No. No. And combo? No. Okay. Never mind. Uh, leather armor, and that's exactly the same as I have, but it it is it comes in green variation. That's nice. Uh, let's give it to my Somewhere. other rogue. Um. Yeah, well, he, his armor looks better. All's well that ends. Well, not as what bad else as do we have? have? Torch, short bow. We are no longer in combat. That's nice. Leather gloves. Okay, that we can equip to have some gloves. Leather boots. So we can have either leather boots or leather gloves. Wait. So those are. Hold on. These are boots also. And then do we have gloves? Okay, look. You don't touch me. Put this hat on. <laughs> See, this is silly. I kinda don't don't like his hair. But it's probably even worse with the with the hat. Okay. So he has these tools as well. Hmm. Great cool club, tenacity, 
scroll of burning hands. Nice play. Journey through the jungle. The adventures of one Baron von Baron von Baron and his goblin guide Joel Joe as they brave the thick jungles of Chul. Um, read. Okay. The sun had just fallen below the horizon when I first heard its call. A thousand reed pipes at once, whistling a single beautiful, terrible song. Ulu Talong, said Chow. It's coming. Chow dropped her pack and scurried up the nearest biter. With a bit more effort, I climbed a tree of my own and the two of us surveyed the grassy ground beneath. Ooh, there is, there it was again, above, above and beneath and all around, so close my skull vibrated from the sound. The ferns and foliage under me rip, a ripple, rippled and swayed. Jo held a finger to her lips to demand my silence, and in one motion, it snatched her vine, a tentacle? It had really mattered. The hunter had found its prey. Joe's scream swelled, then faded, as Ulutalong dragged her away. Oh, what is Ulutalong? I leapt down to give chase, but the creature left no mark behind. The grasses were in untrampled, the shrubs unbroken. I had only the memory of that harrowing call to guide me. And with that, I think I'm going to end the episode. I think it makes sense because I killed a bunch of people. But we are still like in the middle of the dungeon. I will try to get like a rest so I could maybe... Wow, she can disguise. So I can maybe heal these people because right now it doesn't look good. There we go. Okay, so yeah. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Goodbye.